We are the Hannas. And we're currently in La Paz, Mexico. Two and a half years ago, we bought a fifth wheel and a truck and sold our house and started traveling the United States because as soon as we bought the fifth wheel and got it all filled with our things and put solar on the roof, COVID hit and they shut the border to Mexico, which is where we were gonna head. So we traveled uh, the United States for two and a half years. We visited 33 states and had a great time. Can't count the number of miles we put on a truck, but- um, Lots of amazing memories. It was a pretty fantastic way to live. So we finally decided it was time to buy a boat. So we came down to La Paz, Mexico in search of one. And I thought when we got here, the beaches were free to camp on because there's no, there's no hookups, okay, but sure. they're not free. So just FYI, but they are uh, very reasonably priced and, and worth it. Um, yeah, there's nothing quite them. like camping right next to the water. Yeah, it's pretty With fantastic. nothing between you and the waves, but a little strip of sand. We're like 950 miles south of the California border, and this is a kind of a hub for the area. So we started uh, visiting the brokers down here and walked <laughs> on quite a bit of docks, and uh, we shopped around here quite a bit. We visited all of the marinas between California border and La Paz in search of the just the right boat. I know that you're supposed to buy a boat in Florida. You're supposed to go to Florida. It's where all the boats are. Um, and we were really had our mindset on the catamaran and the prices had gone up so much that there was just no way we were gonna find one that we could afford in Florida. Right, so we looked at all the catamarans in the area and uh, they're just, you know, beat up. Charters version. Charter version, rejects, four cabin, four head, low bridge clearance, start talking about all the people uh, that know more about boats than we do, and um, learning about some of the bad habits that catamarans have, like just they're not very sea kindly, and they're awesome for party boats and swimming, and you're right next to the water there at the salon, and you can get in and out, and scuba dive, swim, jump off, all that, which is fantastic, but we're gonna live on this boat for a number of years, we're imagining, and so we wanted to have a more live aboard boat than a party boat. So uh, with, with motion that we can put up with instead of having all this wobbly business that apparently catamarans have. Now we haven't sailed a catamaran, so we don't know, but we heard some negative things about a catamaran. Over the years, we've made uh, a list of must haves on a boat. Owner's version, air conditioning, water maker, washing machine, bow sprit and code zero, cabin fans, dinghy and outboard, gen set, ice maker, enclosure, boutique, microwave and oven, and solar. Those were our must have list we are very for a new boat. We looked at all the catamarans that are in the area and finding none, started looking at even motor yachts, sure. Uh, but decided that just, you know, the ones that we could afford had the old two-stroke diesel uh, engines in them and they were gas guzzlers and just noisy and stinky and just, you know, filling up a gas tank is going to be $5,000 every time. Just so, something about being able to move from A to B with almost no cost. That's right. That a sale, a sale can offer. Yeah, we wanted wind power and so... Just clean living. As much as I really wanted the catamaran, because I do not like the the feeling of having rails in the water, we just decided that maybe we should go ahead and start looking to see what these brokers had in the monohull collection. And we were on a catamaran with Robert from La Paz Yacht Sales, and he said, well, um, we have a boat in the fleet, a monohull, and the owner is very motivated to sell and she's a beautiful boat, and asked if we could go take a tour. And he said, sure, he gave us a private tour of the boat. And as soon as we're heading down the dock, he lights up a cigarette and I'm thinking, oh, great, he smokes the this boat. This is not gonna end well. But he has a, he has a uh, white Labrador that just, you know, one of those shedding dogs that can't stop shedding. 
hair. So everywhere. it was a kind of a mess. You couldn't sit down anywhere without having hair on your tushy. Yeah. The cockpit on this boat is huge. The salon was enormous. And it's just very roomy. What this is is a 1984 Irwin 65. And it is a big old boat, let me say. And so when we walked aboard that thing, we were quite taken with it. We looked at a few other monohulls with another broker. Um, one of the greatest things about a catamaran is all the space outdoors, which is our favorite place to be, is outside. Mm -hmm. And the cockpits were so small. So when we got on the Irwin 65 and took a look at that cockpit, it was like, what a dream. Right. And then, then we went below deck. Teak everywhere. It's beautiful. And back when they built boats out of wood, a galley plus a wet bar, um, huge salon, giant dining table. I think she's beautiful. I've fallen in love with her, which is shocking for me because I I was adamantly against a monohull from day one. Before he even would marry me, he told me that his dream was to live on a boat when he retired. And anyway, I told her you better get used to the idea. Yeah. Uh, I came home that night and I wrote in my journal that I thought we just found the boat of our dreams. And the next day, though, we'd already had an appointment with back with Elon to look at another catamaran. So the other one was like 100 feet away from this cat we were supposed to be looking at. So here we are walking down this dock, and Chris taps me and points over there, and I look over, and there she was. It was like, yeah. I knew right then. I just, my heart skipped a beat. I knew, I just knew that was going to be our boat. I just hated wasting the broker's time looking at the cat because it was just not for us and no. there we could see the Irwin is like I know what direction we're headed at this yeah. point. So we made a phone call to Tom at La Paz Yachts mm -hmm. and uh, made an offer on the boat and made a couple phone calls back and forth between the owner and Tom and us and <clears throat> it actually didn't look like it was going to work out because we were at the top of our what we could afford to pay and he was at the bottom of what he wanted to accept. I was devastated. I just, I really thought that, that she was our boat. I really did and it wasn't going to work out, but that's okay. I We only want what God wants for us. So we were sitting at a beachfront restaurant having a mojito and a, you know. Some, some, what time was it? It wasn't the pina colada. It was something something fun anyway so we got a text from tom and he said congratulations and so in all caps i'll never forget it it was yeah. i started to cry i i was so excited so this monohull checks almost every box on our must-have list except for the code zero and the fotique and solar and solar but honestly the fotique right. was in place of real teak on the decks. We didn't want real teak on the decks and there is no right. teak on the decks. It's just detail work and the interior down below is teak and it's stunning. So we're actually very happy yeah. that there's no faux teak. Yeah, the all inside is teak and holly and it's beautiful. We're basically just buying this boat as is yeah. and we know that going in. She's what, almost 40 years old. Right. So um, True story. We knew we were buying the boat as is and so the owner probably wouldn't be coming down any price. Right. It came with a dinghy, a really cool dinghy, uh, which also needs work. It came with two dinghies. One of them we call the Black Ops dinghy. 14 foot gross black dinghy that goes flat in two hours mm -hmm. in several of the compartments. It's a 25 horse, two stroke Yahatsu uh, that smoked and shuddered and it had barnacles on it, yay thick everywhere underneath it would hardly get out of its own way so the other one it's a bit of a fixer upper mm -hmm. we got a lot of work to do mm -hmm. and but that's but exciting right that's end, part of the adventure oh yeah i can't wait yeah we bought a boat to the boat to the boat <laughs>